Hi again, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I want to talk to you about another navigation tool that you can use with this software. As you probably already know, there's a number of options under the navigation section of the toolbox and a lot of different tools that you can create menus and navigation for your website. On this page I have some samples in fact. This is the 90 Second Website Builder features page where I show navigation menus. But I want to talk about one specific navigation tool called the menu bar. The menu bar is sort of the big brother to the navigation bar. While the navigation bar is an image based single layer, more of a simple navigation tool, the menu bar is far more robust and does quite a bit more and gives you a lot more options. So I'm going to double click on this menu bar object and show you what we can do. At first glance you can see a big difference. Unlike the navigation bar, the menu bar allows you to create a hierarchy, which means menu items that have sub items and sub sub items and things like that. This kind of a structure is possible. Also the menu bar has a lot more styling options which I'll show you in a second. But first let's look at this. The layout can be horizontal or vertical which is typical but you also can change the orientation. Right now it's set to bottom right. Let me show you what this looks like when we preview a menu bar. I'm clicking F5 so we can bring up this page in a browser and we'll scroll down to the menu bar. This is what this one's set at now. You can see that there are sub items and then sub sub items. The menu bar allows you to make this kind of a menu system but it can do a lot more. I'm closing the browser now and let's double click and go back in. That orientation by the way was um, set to bottom right which is normally what you'll use. Let me show you another one so you can get the idea of what orientation does. We'll do the exact opposite. We'll go upper left, click OK, press F5 so we can preview it. This is what orientation means. If we go down there you can see that it's going the other direction. So as you can imagine you're probably going to use the default more often than not. And so I'll set this back to the default. But again, you have control over that because as you'll see in a minute, the menu bar gives you a lot of options. Among those options is how you lay out your structure. Again, you would edit these and change these around. You can move these into different positions in the navigation system. You can also uh, double click to edit them to add your links or click the edit button. Another thing you can do is you can add dividers to your structure or your menu system just by clicking on this button here and creating a divider. And then you can move it around to where you want it in the menu system. Typically you'd want it between items like this. Now let's look at the style tab. This is how the menu is going to look. At first glance this may be overwhelming because all of these settings here are what make up the layout and look of the menu. And I'm scrolling down to show you mostly there are so many of them. We're not going to cover these and I'll show you why here in a second. But absolutely everything about the look and behavior of this object can be controlled here. That means you can control whether or not it animates. You can control whether or not you need to click on a sub menu what that divider character is going to be, that dividing line we just looked at, and what color it's going to be, and so on and so on. Everything from backgrounds, borders, radius, fonts, and uh, modes, all of these things can be controlled here so much so, down to the nth degree, that you might be a little bit overwhelmed when you see all of these decisions that need to be made. Therefore, this object comes with a number of templates that are already in here. I'll show you what I mean. If we go up to the very top here where it says template, you can see that we can actually choose from quite a library of templates. I'm just going to pick the first one here, Apple Glass. You'll notice that when I change the template, all of these settings change too. That's what this is. This is the Apple Glass setting. Now you can change these all you want, make your own, whatever you want to do, but this is where they are adjusted. It's probably best to use a template unless you know exactly what you want and then from there make those changes. Let's look at a few. So for example if we go down to something like forest you can see that we've got some forest green colors that have appeared here but it's also adjusting um, text, it's adjusting the size of the buttons, everything's being set in these settings which again we can adjust if we want to but let's just click OK. We've selected a template and you can already see what it's going to look like somewhat. I'm going to click F5 so we can preview this and there is our forest style menu bar. Let's close the browser and look again. I'm going to click the style tab. So again probably the most common thing you'll do is start with a template and you can just look at any one of these that you want. That might fit the style of your page. 
But one of the things you can do, as you can with many objects in 90 Second Website Builder, is you can use the Pages jQuery theme if you prefer. You just simply select the very bottom. There's the jQuery user interface, and that's going to pick up on this page's current theme. My page's current theme is called Cupertino, and so now by clicking that, I'm now using the Cupertino style a jQuery theme on this particular object. So as you can see, the menu bar is extremely robust. It's a great tool for creating a menu system or navigation system for your website. It's one of those tools that you can synchronize with your site manager if you want to, and I have a video about how that works with parent-child pages. So if you're interested in using that feature, watch that video, but this tool is capable of doing that. So the menu bar is just a great way to build maybe a more complex menu system for your website. It's just another one of many options you have as you're developing your websites in 90 Second Website Builder.